Their response was no comment. And, and since then, they've admitted that, oh, yeah, we got somebody on immigration issues, but it's no big deal, which is clearly another lie because we have multiple witnesses saying, we've got to get you out of here for your safety, and you saw the, the bomb dog alert. That's true. This is unbelievable. Thank God for the courage of our guest, Kurt Haskell, who's being confirmed every step of the way by other witnesses. And they can disprove the sharp-dressed man situation right now by putting that ticket agent on TV, right now by releasing that footage. And they will release footage. They're going to release some side camera that shows nothing. That's my guess. Stay there. Final segment with our guest straight ahead. All right. We're going to have Mr. Haskell back on Sunday with us at 4.30 Central, 5.30 Eastern, 30 minutes into the abbreviated Sunday two-hour show. We'll know a lot more by then. We really appreciate his gracious time with us. If it sounds like I'm interrogating him, I am to try to find out more info. In the four minutes we have left, sir, before we've got to let you go, any other points you want to make, any other pieces of the puzzle, statements you want to make on record here to the worldwide audience? I, I would just call for listeners to demand the government, the media, the FBI, the Dutch police, they need to release that footage. They need to show us the beef. Go ahead. Uh, just a couple things. Again, you know, I have no agenda at all except to tell the truth. I've never even brought up to any reporter anywhere that I'm an attorney. Every reporter has brought that up to me. I'm not trying to trying to promote my law office, I'm not trying to get a book deal or reality show, I'm not trying to get anything. I if actually if I was going to promote anything, I would promote my charity, but I haven't even mentioned that I have one to anyone. Um, and I, I don't really want to get into any more specifics on that. But if I were were to promote something, that would be what I would be promoting. But I don't have that agenda in any That's way. right. A lot of the other witnesses demanded money. It's in the news that, that, that you didn't demand money to go on these shows. Oh, hell no. I don't want any money. Alex, I have enough money to take an African safari. I have money. I don't need any more. I understand. I'm not, a, I'm not a poor individual. No, it's good to be independent so you're not easily <laughs> controlled. I, 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 I know the feeling. Go ahead. So, uh, you know, that's really all I want to say on that. Absolutely. Well, sir, we really appreciate your courage, and your story keeps checking out, checking out, checking out. You privately, well, a lot of people are asking me how you're feeling, if, 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 if you're concerned. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I mean, you're saying you're not intimidated. Anything else you want to add on that point? Uh, as my uh, lawyer friends know up here in Michigan, it's not, it's not possible to intimidate me. It's not. I've been an attorney 10 years. I've taken, you know, a lot of shots at myself. I've argued thousands of cases, and uh, you can't intimidate me. It's not possible. Bring it on. Well, yeah, then you don't have to worry about things in life. What's going to happen is going to happen. Bring it on. Anyone wants to take any shots at me, go ahead. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong with more than a statement. Prove me wrong with evidence. I was there. People taking shots at me that weren't there, you need to prove that I'm wrong with evidence. Absolutely. Well, they need to release that footage. I mean, this should be a huge scandal, and I think it's starting to turn into one. Where is the footage? Where is the footage? Where is the Amsterdam footage? I agree. I, I agree 100%. I asked for it yesterday uh, from the FBI, and uh, I was stonewalled. So... I don't know what else I can do. How would like you describe can... their demeanor when you ask for the footage? Uh, I would say uh, uh, totally blowing me off. And, and as, as if that was a ridiculous request that I review that with them. And, and not to put words in your mouth, going from memory, didn't they say something like, we asked the questions, not you? Uh, yeah, something of that sort. Maybe not word for word, but... Something along those lines. I will say this, though. I don't mean to rip on the two FBI agents that were here. Um, it's My aggravation is more with the FBI agents. Sure. The question then is, why no video? Why the lying? Why the changing their stories? Your story never changed. My story has never changed. I've repeated it 
hundreds of times to people all over the world. I've never changed anything in my story. Um, from from the the first time I reported my story, uh, you know, to a reporter, I was talking about the second man that I saw hauled off after a dog found something in his carry-on bag. Um, you know, this was five days ago. The FBI flat out denied it and said only one man was detained, uh, the terrorist man. And, uh, you know, I was glad to see, I believe yesterday, a couple of my fellow passengers came out and said, yeah, uh, Mr. Haskell is right and backed up what I said. And then, uh, you know, I harassed the F- FBI about it yesterday when they're in my office, when they showed me a picture of what who I thought was indeed this man. And uh, amazingly, last night, the FBI story changed, and now, oh, whoops, there is a second man, but uh, he's he uh, wasn't arrested. He's just being held by customs indefinitely on some sort of immigration charge. Uh, immigration charge being what? He didn't have a passport either? Can they be a little more specific on what that is? Uh, I haven't heard that yet. Um, also... Shai Pol Airport Security came out the other day and said uh, the terrorist man uh, did not have to go through normal passport checking procedures at the airport. And uh, now they come out today and said he did show his passport, which pokes holes in my story, according to them. But uh, those two statements aren't necessarily at odds with each other. Um, he didn't go through normal passport checking procedures, and he showed his passport. But how do we not know that maybe he just didn't flash it to a security manager in a back room or something, which would tie uh, both their accounts together as well as mine? We don't know. Um, and uh, amazing that uh, they're saying he showed his passport now when the, when the other day he, he didn't go through normal passport checking procedures. By the way, could they please define that? What is the definition of not a normal passport checking procedure? I r- would really like a very specific definition of that. Uh, just a couple uh, thoughts in my head today. Man, they are certainly covering something up, and there's no discussion in the media. Where's the footage of the man filming the entire flight and calmly filming the incident with the underwear bomber? Some witnesses have said that he looked dazed or drugged. What did he, what did he look like when you saw him brought through by the sharp-dressed man? Uh, the best way I could describe him would be emotionless. So he was zombie-like. Um, you know, zombie-like to me is a definition uh, that would entail, you know, uh, blurry or clear, unclear eyes, and I can't really verify that. He was, was just blank. Say, he was blank. I would, I would say emotionless is the best way that I could describe him. All right. We'll talk to you again Sunday. We appreciate your courage. Kurt Haskell from Michigan, a survivor of the underwear bombing attack.